playing games. We yes we are. This is a game. It's called Anti Reversi, also known as Anti Othello. Like yes. the Shakespeare play. A tragedy. Oh, this specific game session has expired. Has expired. Well done. Yes. We took too long talking about wanting to make Leash It. Which is fine. Did you make... Oh, go ahead. I made a new one. Oh. A bot joint. No, bot. And then he leaves. Okay. He's so polite. What do you think we should... Uh, I guess change the time. Oh. Yeah, and... Oh, and it has to be on me. So the object of the game is to have the least amount of stones of your color on the board at the end of the game. Capture works the same as Othello and Reversi. Well, there's no well, not capture, yeah, it's not really like, a capture. It's conversion, I yeah. guess. Yeah, conversion is a good word for it. Um, we'll put the rules in the, in the chat. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, let's start. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's this. You, everybody had, you grew up in our generation, and you got <laughs> left at the library, and uh, you tried change, to play. Change the, the text? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's not, where do you go? Inspect element? Oh, the, for, it says first capture go. Oh, oh, that text. I thought you meant change that to mango, mango, mango in the HTML. Verso. Okay, so I'm but, right. Um, so yeah, if you ever got left in the library as a kid and you played this weird game that looked like checkers but wasn't on your on the library computer and you kept getting stomped by the computer. It's one of the more popular games. Yeah. Played on an 8x8 board. Uh, it was also a very popular game on the Atari. Fun fact. What's the what's our title then? Anti reversal? Yeah. Okay. So I want to not have a lot of pieces. So I'm doing I'm doing good so far. Yeah. Let's perhaps. But it's just the beginning. Remember, we gotta fill this board up. That's very true. There's a long road ahead. Sometimes when you get too small, you have limited amount of moves, too. Yeah. I feel like I'm liking your position better, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it's hard to tell this early. And we're, uh, you know, we're close in score. Seven to eight. Six to ten. Yeah, it always has to change by at least two every turn. Because one has to flip if you're placing one on the floor. True. I think it's come down to like the last few moves, hopefully. Yeah. 
can't remember if it does or doesn't in uh, anti reversal. But if only there was a book written about anti reversal strategy that I could <laughs> read. I had to uh, you just re you just read reversi strategy and do the opposite. That's not true because you don't do the opposite strategy for anti jazz. And so having having territory can be good in anti anti variants. Oh, that's bad. I shouldn't take the corners. I think taking the corners is bad. Don't think you can change. Can't remember. I don't like change. I don't like change. <laughs> Yeah, see, I think in both of them, yeah, starting in the middle is still good. Jolly old good. Uh, I keep, I, every time I have to go, I go, I just go to myself, my plan is white, I'm trying to get the least amount. <laughs> That's the goal. Oh, this game's starting to blur together sometimes. Well, no, I'm not really. I get it, though. It is sometimes uh, too many, too many Wait, rules Well, I don't see, I don't like, in chess, I see that I'm clearly one color. Yeah. But on this one, I could, I could be anything. <laughs> Wait, you could, you couldn't be any color. You could be <laughs> black or white. There's no purple on the board. There's a little bit of blue, and the board itself is green. Yeah, but you change that. What the board being green? Yeah, yeah sure. Change the amount. Yeah. Yeah. Be whatever I want. Have you? Have you ever had a? Have, have you ever? <laughs> So much that you you could do anything. One of the first videos we all had. Old school internet app right there. Take the spin now, Grin. Up the techno set. Going surfing on the internet. <laughs> what what do you hope for in the future? Uh so if uh, I guess this is a different question too. If playing board games was your job, do you think you'd enjoy it? Yes. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Duh. Yes. Because I think the only way to realistically make money playing board games is by playing lots of them as like a, a, a test player. Oh, a test player. And that would be, yeah, that'd be a thing. I have a friend who, who does that with role playing games. He test plays role playing games? He's a professional uh, GM. For people's, uh, or <coughs> game master, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. My boy Magnus Carlson is a GM. Yeah. But yeah, when people want to try and make the next Dungeons and Dragons, they pay him a couple thousand dollars to go test play the game for people at uh, certain conventions and trade shows. Because he's uh, particularly good at it. <laughs> and he also makes money doing it online. That's what teachers forget to tell us. They're like, oh, you'd be good at this job. They never are like, oh, yeah, you'd be good at just playing board games. Yeah, you could just be you could just I'll tell dungeon you that. master, professional. I kind of wish, I really wanted to be a comedian as a kid. I don't really wish. I mean, teachers. you still can. Ah, yeah, yeah, but it's not. It's not as much as I as as when I was a kid. But I really wish teachers yeah. would have just been like, yeah, go be a comedian. Could have been like, well, they could have been like working in public speaking. Uh, 
I mean, of course they didn't encourage. Do you vocal joking. exercises? Of course they didn't drink encourage lots, joking. Drink in the lots classroom. of water. Uh, just drink water. That's uh, that's how you become a comedian. Different like different writing styles. Yeah. Uh, well, no, they do encourage you to do different writing styles. They don't. Say well, that it'll help you become a comedian, though. Yeah, but they didn't. I you mean, gotta figure that out on your own. No, nah, I didn't. I mean, I wasn't influenced to a ton of writing styles. Uh, I mean, I've read more books myself than in school. But. Yeah. Didn't read any of that Mark Twain. We didn't have to read that in school, no. You didn't? No. Yeah. I remember reading it. I don't know if it was required reading or not. But oh. I, I was that obnoxious kid that liked reading all of the things. But I would just figure out what the books were. I hated most of the books that they assigned, though. So I would just figure out what they were ahead of time and just kind of BS it by just skimming through. Or I think I learned about Wikipedia pretty early on, so I read a lot of Wikipedia summaries for books, especially Jane Eyre. I hate Jane Eyre. Spark notes. Uh, less Spark notes, because most English teachers know a lot about Spark notes, especially if you're in AP or IB. English. They were like, you think we don't know about spark notes? Uh, oh, that's the old Discord one. Okay. okay. Well, I'm, I know I'm ahead. That you're trying to get the less least amount. I know I'm ahead in pieces. Yeah. But I followed some of my principles that I had in my mind. So just hopefully, <laughs> so, so hopefully it'll you can lead me it. to victory in the end. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, yep. I did, wasn't looking at that, but okay. And I know a lot of the end moves, there's like big swaths. And yeah. Well done. I did not mean any. Uh, bad, bad screwed pooch. I mean, we're just back to pretty much even now. That's good. No, I did pretty it's 29, bad. It's 21 to 19. Yeah, That's but I was ahead by, it. yeah. But see, I was, I was winning, I was behind the whole time, and right there I just flipped it by four, which is uh, two moves at least to come back from, unless you are forced to take more than one. Well, trust me, that'll happen in the end. I, I haven't been able to lean back because when I lean back, yeah. like to right here, he'll, he'll just reposition himself to where he's like completely leaning on me. Yeah. And I can't really move from that position for a bit, so. Chops was good cat bonus. 
I haven't, put any ta- I haven't put any cat tags. I don't know if that will. <laughs> cat tags. But you know, uh, you know the inspect thing where we can go change things? Yeah. Uh, uh, I use that same thing uh, where you can look at other people's tags by going and just inspecting it and then just looking at the keyword. Uh, so it kind of helps seeing what other people are tagging those things. And yeah. What have you discovered? Not much. People, that, I mean, it just seemed normal. People were just tagging the words. <laughs> yeah. So 2323. <laughs> and all, only outer edge pieces left. So as I was right, it's gonna come down to the end. Ladies and gentlemen. Who played a tied game up to here? <laughs> well not quite. Not until I made my oopsie in the middle. But <laughs> might not have been your oopsie in the middle. Yeah. In the middle of the game, not the middle of the board. Kind of made the oopsie all over. left in this move. I'm behind by two, I guess. I have two extra stones, which is not good. Oh! Should have gone over this way. Oh, no, that would have done that. No, well, darn. I mean, each each of these, la- like, the other Yeah, I know, <laughs> Both only have a minute and change. What is this, plus ten? You're watching my screen right here. Yeah. You're watching me lose right now. Uh, and run out of time. And run out of time. Well, by now I have no pieces. So unless you flip over a bunch on this one. Maybe you'll end up flipping over a bunch when all that's left is what's over here. Oh, that's right. I forget that you have to <laughs> fill up the board if I can't move. Yeah. I thought it ends. So yeah, I'm currently playing as black, and uh, the goal is to have the fewest pieces on the board at the end of this. Yeah, 
We're back to two away from each other again. They were just both way bad. I only flipped over <laughs> two things. Uh, yeah, I I don't know how the math for this works. It's such a weird game. Well, you flip over a few, and then a mount goes away from one side and then to the yeah. other side. So. But I just always do the math wrong in my head. So add one to the pool. Awful. Only fifty eight seconds. That's it. That's all flipped over. Rematch. What? Oh, yeah, we're twenty twenty two. So all I gotta do is, you know, not pay attention until yeah. a little bit, until a little bit at the end. We we're equal then. So my go. Yeah. Let me know if it's I am the dark player now. You can just make any move as long as it's <laughs> tied near the end, you know. Yeah. strategy for it. <clears throat> I won't share it. <laughs> I won't. Share it at the end. I will share it at the end. The people waiting. Flip's the least amount of one. Well, yes. But uh, I'm trying to think of a way to do that. And I think, I think I have a pretty good principle to go off of. Right now. I hope we get really like we get reversing players and just like yeah. <laughs> Anti reversing players, you mean? Because I don't think this would work for reversing, and I don't think doing the opposite strategy would work in reversing. I think it'd be 
very good. So this is just a way. Yeah. We'll see. If I win, then I'll share it. And if I don't, then it's just a warm up. You don't play two warm up games? I already saw that. What's that? <laughs> That's my game, right? Yep. <laughs> the strategy must be worth it. Well, I mean, it depends on which meal we're working. Because I don't know the strategy. Yeah. So it's. Unless I'm doing the strategy too. You might be. Oh, yeah, Mike, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, I hope that's my response to this uh, stupid strategy. I mean, I don't think it's that much of a secret. It might just be a basic driving grounds. Well, yeah. Don't go for. And it looks like you don't go for the corners. Yeah, don't go for the edges. Uh, it's more or less. Now that we filled in, filled it in. I've just tried to stick to. The innermost square. If that makes sense. We have a lot more right now. Yeah, there's a lot more than I was thinking. All right, well. Just means when you capture me. It'll be so many. Your, <laughs> your downfall will be. Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it might. That might be the case. Right. We will find out. Perhaps, Mister Bond. Perhaps. There's some, not anti reversing but there is some reversing strategy videos online on there. Tutorial things. We played through this game way faster. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot more time on our clock. Yeah. Because we knew the first moves didn't matter. <laughs> Just like speeding through your childhood. <laughs> First moves don't matter. <laughs> Y'all, you know, where they get a. It's like a, having a. D or it's e? like having a juvenile a criminal record. Yeah, it just goes away. Yeah. Whether you got an A or C. Other than a murder. In middle school, it doesn't matter. That's yeah. true. You just just get it. You going? I mean, if they would have. If they would tell kids that your grades do not matter at all in your life, man, would school be different. Yeah. But that's the advice I would give to every, like, middle schooler. All this stress. <laughs> hey, kid, uh, I know you think you're, like, the biggest shit right now. Uh, the but <laughs> you think you are the biggest shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Several, how many currings? <laughs> 
just now. Your grades do not matter at all. You can <laughs> so, so don't try. Join the chess team. Drink some water. That's some good advice. Uh, learn public speaking. Do your vocal exercises. I've been I haven't thinking about this as a way of helping public speaking. Do some yoga. I think I my public speaking has improved over the year. Year or so. Just depends on the circumstance. I find public speaking easier when I pretend to be somebody. Different. Well, it's even just hearing yourself a lot of times. Like, practice yeah. saxophone a lot is I have to record myself playing and go back and listen to it and be like, oh, I guess that's what I sound like. Yeah. And then go fix it. I've this heard. Is true. I, I don't go back and listen to a lot of these, but I have heard more than I would without it. So. Yeah. I was hoping at the end, I just won't be able to capture. I don't know if that'll be the case. <laughs> the untapped market, yes. Yes. Uh, edge squares. <laughs> that aren't the corners. Bye, bye, bye. What? What? Have you ever been to like meme economy or whatever? I guess I don't People, know. Oh. People will post like fresh memes and they'll be like, seems like an untapped market. Buy, sell. Short sale. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. And the people are like, "Yeah, this will catch on." Bye, bye, bye. That's where I first saw <laughs> Uganda Knuckles. They were like, "What do you think?" Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, it'll still bring me prosperity in the end. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first one to first corner. hit a corner. It's a bold move. Let's, Let's see if it pays it. off. I don't know if it was needed, okay. but... Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hit that other corner. Nice, nice. Oh! You can't hit the last corner. I'm gonna have to hit the last corner. So those three are guaranteed to be mine. Mm -hmm. 
is actually good. That's kind of sucks though. 40. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I. That's pretty no, close to losing. I'm going to have to go there. No, I have to go there. And there. Then I go. Let's go here. And then you can go. Open for you to take a lot. I got. Okay, I can't go there. You have to go there. I need to avoid going there. Because then otherwise. <laughs> G8, right? And, and he then tends you... to win. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. It's a draw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's do the tiebreaker. We haven't hit 45 yet. Really? Yeah. What do you want to? We're at 37. That'd be perfect because it only took us like eight minutes to play this game. So, uh,. If it only takes us eight minutes to play the next one, uh, then we will be right at 45. So now we learn the start doesn't matter, uh, and now we learn that the... It kind of does matter, <laughs> but we know the basic strategy now, so we just stick to the middle. I'm going to, at first, <laughs> stick to the middle while trying to capture as many pieces as I can. That's going to be my new strategy to be more offensive. That's been your old strategy. What? Like in a. a oh, my old strategy <laughs> was sticking to the middle. Mine's going to be to have as least amount of stones on the board. Yeah, at the end of the game. And not draw. And not draw. There's a really long game of Carcassonne and Gravity that I played one time. And, and it was like 205 to 205. <laughs> and I was just like, ugh. Do you have a bunch of expansions on the board? Yeah. Oh, okay. to go. Ouch. I'm going to, what if this, I hope this backfires. I really do hope this backfires somehow. Hope what backfires? Your strategy of capturing as many as possible? Oh, I think it already has, but we'll find out. 
Well, I was down by 15 a lot of the last game and then came up to be a draw just for less. That's of, true. This is a lot of the last minutes. So. And I'm only down by 13. So yeah, uh, Joel Caesar set us down. It had a lot of different boards. It had a six by six and a ten by ten, and then it had like a cross shape, uh, different sizes of that. There's a few that I really want to try. We could just do regular reversing, and then we'd have we'd have to do anti reversing that way. It's like it's, it's, it'll say who's the winner, but we just agree that that's not the winner. Fun to to interview celebrities. Yeah, I think I mentioned this before. Interview celebrities while trying to beat them in chess. Yeah, uh, I think. Or like if they were even on my team in chess, I th two player th chess. I think that's a. Uh, there's like a Russian talk show that's like that, but it's all in Russian. Yeah. So. Like we had a round have table. Have fun learning. A round table with me and three other celebrities, and I was on and one celebrity playing chess team. against all of them. Uh. That'd be two v two, or I mean, we do. That would be the Magnus version. Magnus interviews, and he just plays <laughs> against uh, like five people all at once, which they basically have him do on every talk show that he goes yeah. on. I'll be like, "Well, can you do it blindfolded, standing on one foot?" Well, yeah, I don't like my position right now. His game with Bill Gates was like. He couldn't have played that game and professionally because he just like went for a trick that like most people would have saw, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't like my position. But they only gave him edge before you left. thirty seconds plus no time and they gave Bill as much time as he wanted. So pretty much yeah. Magnus had to just like make yeah. move extremely fast, like or else he was just gonna run out of time if the game kept going on too long. So he had to play some dirty tricks. Yeah, he just started throwing everything at his can. Lots of I think he went for like some sort of sacrifice. Where if he did go for the sacrifice, uh, which he did. I think he took his knife for free or something like that. It would have been checkmate. Yeah. But if he didn't, he would have just been a much... Okay, yeah, I'm doing really bad right now. Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> Curiosity of what's in the closet. Now, what if maybe my goal is just capture as many as possible? Or, yeah, capture as many as possible. So maybe I'm winning now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my goal was <laughs> to not play by the rules all along. <laughs> you sound like my nephew. Well, no, I was playing by the secret Uno rules. <laughs> Where only I win. The only thing, our neighborhood friends never, we used to, we never really had disputes about rules that much. But uh, my cousins, I remember. Uh, well, yeah, because the but, kids you grow up with, you have different rules for all every game that you play. You agree to, like, whatever rules the, the first kids to, like, introduce it to the circle were taught. My cousins, uh, one of the cousins, we'd always play tag, and they would always call timeout, like yeah. right before they get tagged. <laughs> I remember that. I just kept, Wait a minute, okay, we need to, uh, or, uh, what was the other one? I don't know, that was, that was the one I remember the most. I 
think you missed a child who was about to be killed by. I mean, I write more sense stuff, but I just I don't know. I haven't found the time. I haven't like either scheduled the time or been struck with inspiration to make synth music. Um, just everything goes by so fast now. <laughs> just taking it, taking it an hour at a time, just trying to get through everything. Not, not, not everything. Not exactly, but yeah, I could probably schedule my time better. I do other stuff with music too, so like I feel like I. When I do other things with music, like I feel like I got my allotted like tons of hours of music in for the day. Huh. So adding a new section of writing synth music to it. Yeah. I don't I could replace things, but I don't really wanna I don't wanna continue doing it. change that for you. <laughs> um, I want to, the main thing I want to do is synth stuff, but uh, I, I don't want, uh, most synth stuff I need to, I had to do drum stuff, but I don't really like doing drum stuff. Yeah. But I want to do synth stuff and add berry to it. I need probably some more berry. Oh, the berry just strains. Well, I can make yeah. some house music and have you play sax over top of it. Oh, yeah, we did. Kind of Haven't we mentioned that before? Yeah. I already have some house music made up. I just need to polish it. We need to figure out more like it. a Google Drive thing. So we just, or kind of like a GitHub type, type of thing we want to share. Yeah, this would just be an MP3. So it wouldn't be. Yeah, I would you send have... you the finished song pretty much. Yeah, oh, but that's what yeah. that's what I mean. Like everything would be, yeah. like I would send someone an MP3 of a, a drum file if that's all I was doing. Yeah. And this would be like drum, the bass. Well, not really bass, synth bass. Yeah. Let me figure out these last. Back synth top. bass, synth lead. <laughs> you found the right plant. Alright, where are we at? I've been looking to I've been looking into uh like plants that 
uh, are good with cleaning up carbon dioxide in the in the room. Yeah. And producing oxygen for the room. Not that I get one anytime soon, but uh, they aren't. Tom Scott. They aren't that expensive. You could definitely just Tom go Scott. Get some plants it wasn't there. his video, but he's been off for a month, and he's yeah. had like other people's video, and he was showing the effects of being in a greenhouse that just had like different levels of carbon dioxide. And he was showing how business rooms and stuff all had these little carbon dioxide and just like how it just made you not smart. Yeah. And I mean, we want to have good oxygen here for playing board games. We need those smart cells not just going out, going out of us because we're in here. And it's good circulation, John. Yeah. Nice. 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 Let's see if you can force a draw with the last move. Oh, yeah. Last move. Oh, yeah. Force a draw with the second five here. I don't know why it writes. Uh, a lot of bands can write one CD a year, even or even less than that. No. And make money doing it. Like, make a living doing that. Yeah. I wish I could do one CD. I should have gone there. One CD, or even two CDs a year. That'd be pretty cool. To be able to tie music. Well, I definitely want to do, um, I want to call it Cosmic Jazz. <laughs> and it's going to be Space Jazz, but it's going to, it's just free jazz with synths. Yeah. And, like, you could probably play Ewe. Isn't that what you mentioned? Yeah, just play free jazz. Uh, well, I was saying playing free jazz, like, improvise it over top of things, like, free, like, movies from Library of Congress and stuff. Yeah. Uh, if we did space jazz, there's a lot of cosmic jazz. There's some, there's NASA noises that I think are free on, yeah, for free. Uh, space noises. And we just play over those, and, like, maybe footage. Because NASA has all sorts of like live stream stuff that we could play over top of, and just stream that, and record it, and uh, call it Cosmic Jazz. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah, Cosmic Jazz, folks. If you try to take our idea, we're gonna share this video to the court. Well, then you should just play with us. It's cosmic jazz, man. It's random, like the universe, man. Man. It's all supposed to concatenate together. And uh, much like space, sometimes it syncs up to make amazing things, and then it divulges back into chaos, and then it'll sync back up. It's sort of like that song that we recorded by accident that has, like, jazzy sections in the middle. Um or it wasn't by accident. By accident yeah. yeah, it wasn't really by accident. It was like... Uh, it was randomly composed, and it just has like those middle bits that have like a, a little jazz... Yeah. To the point where I've kind of wanted to take those sections and just turn that into a song.
which one will it be, Mike? So if I go here, then I'll have to play here. No, I mean, I need to go here, because that's where... Because you can't play there, so I have to play here. And then you play there. And nice. he wins. He wins. Oh, yeah. A two. A two. That's a close game. A good finale it has been a true draw. <laughs> we each won one, and we drew one. Uh, so. so that wasn't, yeah, that wasn't I said it was true, yeah, oh, I did, <laughs> did I call it a tiebreaker? Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> we just made it a draw. We'll see you next time, folks. We're going to play some tag. <laughs>